you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm using my Sony ZV-1. I haven't used this camera in a very long time, probably half a year if not more, just because I feel like it's so unreliable when it comes to quality. I don't know what it is. I've been trying to figure it out. I don't know. I might end up selling it, but I thought, let me whip it out today and give it a try because you have options to like smooth the, smooth the skin out, which is what I'm trying right now. And I feel like it just looks so soft and like the soft focus of it is so beautiful. But sometimes, I don't know, I'll rewatch the video and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so grainy and I've tried different settings, all these different things. So I don't know, hopefully this one is not a flop. But nonetheless, we are going to continue with a lash video today. I wanted to try some of the lashes in the Lashify Advent Calendar here. I did a review of this and showed what's inside during one of my vlogmases and to be honest I was pretty disappointed. Two of the boxes were black scrunchies which I can understand one scrunchie but like two scrunchies for two of the days and then another one was like a headband so I feel like those three were very disappointing but the rest of them were pretty you know pretty good there were some baby lashes and only one of the days actually had lashes like gossamer lashes and it was day number three and there are two in here so there's a mystery lash I have like some eyebrow product or something all over my hands so I was using the NYX eyebrow pencil and it can be so messy and then it's like so hard to remove whatever we're gonna go with it so there's the mystery lashes which I think I'm going to use them today. They're in 12 millimeter, And then there's T12 in mink, which I'm assuming is tulip in color mink. And there was another really exciting day. I think it was day number six. Let me see here. No, day number six was a mini adhesive, which I'm going to give to my sister. It was day number eight. So day number eight. I don't know if all of them were the same, but this is what was in mine. It was their birdie wand, which I actually wanted to buy myself. I love the size of it and the prongs are a little bit smaller and less curved from their original one. I do have their original one. Let me actually grab it right now to compare. So here's their original one. It's the OG one that came in the Lashify box when I first ordered like the whole set. And as you can tell side by side, these prongs on the birdie are shorter and they should be less curved. Let me just stack them side by side. Actually, I feel like the curve is Kind of the same. No, it's definitely a little bit flatter. It's not the same. So you'll see the birdie one, it's flatter right here. And the original one is definitely more curved at the peak right here. And while I do love the original, it doesn't work for me to fuse this way because as you can tell, there's a gap right here between the end of my eye and the wand. And it just doesn't fit the curve of my eye. It's way too curved for my eye shape. So I always reverse fuse whenever I use this wand here. But I feel like with the birdie, it's pretty close. It's a lot closer to the natural curve of my eye. Like, do you see that? It's almost an exact match. So this is why I really wanted to try this one. So if you have less of a curved eye, I feel like you'd probably love the birdie as well. So that's what we're going to use. I have the double-sided whisper light, which has the clear and the black glue. I have the new sealant. Well, it's new to me, waterproof sealer, which I feel like it works, but I'm not 100% sold on it just yet and we're gonna try some lashes. I will be really sad if I look back at this audio, not this audio, at this video, and the quality is complete garbage. I will be sad for sure, but what is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, sada, sada. All right, let's open up these mystery lashes and see what they are. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, they're blue, I think. Wait, wait. Maybe I won't try them because I don't know if I'm in the mood for a blue lash. Yeah, they are, they look like they're fluffy with blue tips. I don't know if you can see, but they have slightly blue tips on them. It's kind of hard to translate on camera. Maybe, yeah, this way you can feel like you can see better. Huh. I mean, it's gorgeous. Very pretty. I just don't know if I'm in the mood for blue tinted lashes but you know what whatever we're gonna wing it we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna try some blue lashes so what I'm gonna do first is grab the whisper light with the black micro mascara wand and I bent mine because it's easier to apply to the lashes this way and I do have a little bit of mascara I just finished my full face of makeup and I'm like oh junk I forgot to take off my mascara so it is what it is we're just gonna roll with it usually I like to start with uh, very clean lashes make sure you have no makeup on there but today's just uh, it is what it is kind of video so go ahead and dab some of that glue along the base of your natural lashes I personally do not like to swipe it through like mascara 
because I don't want my natural lashes to clump together. Just go ahead and dab some along the base. It's hard to tell because I already have mascara on there, but just a little bit goes a long way. And then grab one of the gossamers. I'm going to pinch it using my finger. And here's what it actually looks really cool. So I'm assuming this is a fluffy, but I'm not 100% sure. There are so many new arrivals that I haven't gotten to trying all of them from Lashify. But this one does look really cool. It looks like a fluffy to me, but it may, it's probably not as fluffy as an original fluffy. But it does have like thicker fibers to it. So the fibers aren't super dainty like some of their others. So I'm not sure. If you know, let me know. And I feel like I have a piece of hair here that's bothering me. But I'm going to grab the clear glue. And this one I'm going to swipe along the top of the spine of the... Wait, I need some more. Of the lash cluster of the gossamer kind of coating it. This band looks kind of stiff, so kind of like that. It might be a little bit pokey. We'll see. I feel like it's a hit or miss. Some of the bands on Lash Fi clusters are more flexible. Some of them are a, little, are a little bit more stiff, and this one does seem to have a lot of structure to it and rigidness. So with lash bands like this, you have to be a lot more mindful of how you're placing them, because if you angle them even ever so slightly, not following the curve of your eye, it might end up poking you and you might feel it. You should not feel these once you have them on. So just place it as close to the root of your natural lashes as possible, but not touching the waterline. Alright, and I like to start from the outer corner in. That's 112. These are all 12 by the way. Now let's grab the next one and just repeat the steps and lose them in the process. Grabbing the clear glue some of that to the spine of the gossamer. This way it gives you extra hold, especially if you're using a volume lashes that need that extra hold, or if your own natural lashes are on the thinner side and there's not too many lashes for the clusters to hold on to. I feel like double bonding is a great way to get that longevity and hold. You know what? These are actually very pretty. Like the tips are blue, so they almost look shorter then 12 millimeters it almost looks like they're they stop right here but then when you look up close you can see like the nice blue tips all right let me finish off the rest of the eye oh no i accidentally broke one trying to pull it out i think we can still use it i'm going to use the remainder of it for the inner corner since this will fit perfectly right in there all right i'm going to go ahead and i'm so tempted i almost reverse fused i'm going to go ahead and pinch everything together Oof, I'm so not used to fusing them this way. I still prefer reverse fusing. And just kind of going in sections. I'm going to finish this eye here and then see if there's anything that I want to add or take away and go from there. Alright, here's the end result here. Sorry, my the Sony has the screen on the side, so I'm just looking here as I'm talking. It's just a habit, but I do really like this lash style. I think it's very cool. It has the perfect amount of volume and dimension to it. I love that the clusters fan out so that when you place them side by side, it kind of conceals any gaps between clusters. You don't have to overlap them. And I love the flared tips. I love the color tips. I wouldn't say blue is like my go-to color but they are cool and again it almost looks like they're shorter than they actually are because all of the depth is at the base here and the tips are a lot lighter so here's an even closer close-up so you can really see that blue it is cool you know it's growing on me it's like you never know until you try and i'm not feeling any poking or anything like that here's what the lashes look like from a distance the last thing that i'm going to do is apply some of the waterproof sealer which, again, I'm not 100% sold on, but the Whisper Light, I've tried it in the past, and I've used it for a very long time, and it didn't give me the best hold, but I feel like now using this sealer, I'm able to get like up to a week's wear, if not more, so I'm assuming it might be the sealer that contributed to that longevity. I'm not sure, but if you do need a sealer, I do like this one because it's waterproof formula and then I love this ballpoint tip, so I'd probably get this over glass. And sealers help to get rid of any stickiness they might, you might be experiencing, but with the Lashify glue, I usually don't experience too much stickiness. Um, but yeah, that kind of concludes my video just sharing about the mystery lashes. I was really interested and curious to see what they were, and this is it, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and lashing. Thank you guys for watching, and I really hope to see you guys in any future videos. Bye!